Hello, my name is John and today we're in the cockpit of the M8 again. In this video, instead of doing a tutorial, we want to look at a failure of the aircraft. In particular, we want to look and see what happens if we lose our tail rotor. So therefore I have set up a mission where there are uh, metal chips inside the gearbox oil of the tail rotor, as is detected by the system and shown by a yellow light down there. And uh, this will cause the tail rotor to fail after a couple of minutes. And uh, we are doing this tonight because there has been a discussion on the subreddit Hogget, which is a DCS based reddit uh, thread. And um, there they have claimed that, uh, or I have claimed that uh, it will be quite difficult to get the helicopter under control uh, once you lose the tail rotor if you don't react fast enough. And some people have corrected me and said, well, it's quite possible actually. And so therefore I wanted to try this out. And we are currently waiting for the tail rotor to fail, and it actually happened right now. And now what I did is I reduced the throttle to idle, therefore we reduced the yaw input to the rotor blades, and therefore we can keep the helicopter somewhat aligned. We also put the collective down to minimum to keep the rotor RPM up, because we don't have any engine power anymore, and we want to keep some forward speed for the helicopters to stay al aligned with the flight direction by weather waning. And now, once we get close to the ground, we want to use our remaining rotor speed to get the helicopter into some kind of a flare and hopefully put it down slowly. We have enough time. Um, I have crashed a couple of times doing this, but we will try it once more. See how it works? A little bounce. And there we go. We will turn down or turn off both engines. And we probably have damaged the helicopter quite a bit. Uh, there is our tail boom next to us, but uh, the guys next to me and myself look quite alive. And yeah, it turns out the helicopter is quite uh, controllable if you react fast enough. I mean, the higher you fly, the easier it will be. If you're at very low altitude or in a hover, you're probably going to die. I'll turn on the rotor brake to stop this thing vibrating to death. And yeah, the lower you are, the more difficult it will be. And in a takeoff or landing situation, it might be well, very bad if you can't react immediately, but in this case it worked out somewhat well. I mean, we are on the ground safe, can glue that thing back on, I guess. And yeah, um, this, I guess, answers the question, and I have learned something tonight. Uh, it is possible, oh, I'm sorry, I will turn her off. Yeah, and it is possible to actually survive uh, tail rotor loss. I mean, this time I was prepared for uh, it, and... Um, I was having my hand on the collective, as you should, and I could immediately reach the throttle and put that to idle and react it properly. But it might not be that easy if you're maybe during a combat mission and you're looking out. And I mean, it in this case, we were expecting it to happen and I was prepared. But yeah, if you react fast enough and if you train this a couple of times, which is nice in a sim, you can do that easily, then it, it's uh, possible to actually land the helicopter. And I will upload this mission to the description of the YouTube video so you guys uh, can have a try easily. Uh, the helicopter is just parked in a field down there and you can take off after some random time the oil system will fail uh, for the, or the oil system will detect metal chips and a couple minutes later at some random point the tail rotor will stop. So yeah, that might be quite interesting for you guys. I also will do that for the UH-1 um, which has the same functionality. But I cannot do it for the Gazelle because it has no failures implemented yet. And obviously it's pointless for the K50. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I learned something. I hope you guys learned something too. And uh, fly safe and hopefully see you next time in the begin. Bye.